And I, I wouldn't stand here as a deceiver. Well, you know I wouldn't do that. And you know God would never bless a deceiver. I know it's the truth. I've tested it in death. I've tested against demons. I've t- all across the world. This is my third trip around now. And this, I've seen witch doctors and devils and hypnotizers and demons and everything and, and critics and everything come up and say it's mental telepathy. If somebody out in the audience is, uh, is looking up here and I'm reading their mind, mental telepathy, and all such things that's been tried in every body furnace. And every time God slays the adversary, drops them right to their feet. There's a man sitting tonight paralyzed in this world because he tried to hypnotize me in New York City. Went to a, one of these army guys who goes and makes people bark like dogs and things with hypnotism. And I said, why the devil put in your heart to do that? And that settled it. He packed him out paralyzed. He's that way yet tonight. Many other things I could say hundreds, but I've told you the truth. God has confirmed it to be the truth. That fellow that time, they hired to come up and hypnotize me, sitting out in the line like that. They had him in these army camps to hypnotize these soldiers, make them bark like dogs, and act, you know, how they would do just under hypnotism. This fellow come up and the devil sent him around and was going to hypnotize me at the platform. You remember when it happened? Montreal. And when he did that, I felt that evil spirit and turned around. I said, why has the devil put that in your heart? He looked at me real funny and ducked his head down. I said, you tried to hypnotize the servant of the Lord? He thought it was a telepathy. I said, because you've done this, God will judge you for that. See you unto it. And they packed him out of there paralyzed, and he's paralyzed yet today. I've heard in Africa, they're standing there, a witch doctor standing and challenged. Don't you never make a statement there unless you know what you're talking about. Drink blood out of a human skull and cut themselves and things and stand there and challenge and speak the name of the Lord Jesus and see him fall prostrate on the ground. I tried. See him one standing trying to hypnotize me. And went over there, he's going to make me bark like a dog. He's standing out there trying to do something like that. I felt that strange spirit while they're knowing he was going to look around. I said, you child of the devil, why do you do that? I said, cursed be you. You'll not move from your seat in the name of Jesus Christ for the glory of God. And he paralyzed sitting there in his seat and they packed him out. You have to watch what you're doing. You're not playing church no more. That's right. I know a man tonight sitting paralyzed, been that way for several years. When I was up there at Zion City, when that man sat back there trying to hypnotize me before those people, I kept trying to run a prayer line and he kept sitting there. He'd go to the army camps, you know, and he'd, he'd make the boys hypnotize and make them bark like dogs, you know, and act like that. Remember, you're not long ago in Toronto. We're standing there preaching, praying for the sick. And I kept feeling an odd spirit. He's sitting over to my left. I kept watching. There's a man sitting there, a bunch of hard, and he'd come in there to hypnotize me. He'd go around to army camps and make soldiers get on their uh, hands and bark like dogs and things, hypnotism. I felt that evil spirit. I didn't know where it was coming from. I kept watching. I seen that dark shadow. I waited just a few minutes. I said, you child of Satan, why has the devil blinded your mind to something like that? Because you've come to take over God, challenge God's spirit, they'll pack you out of here. He paralyzed right there in his seat and still paralyzed. We don't play church. How many has been in meetings and see similar things happen? You know, things that takes place. Sure. That's right. 